Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today, we have some Harley parts. Some nice Harley Davidson stuff. As you saw how ugly my floor is right now, but hey, sit back, watch that intro. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks for sticking around, everybody. Let me know what you think of that intro. We just changed it up. A little something newer, a little more animated. But uh, you came here to see these Harley parts get worked on, so let's start showing them to you. As you can see, we have the, the old Harley split tanks. Uh, I debadged them to get them ready for uh, sandblasting to clean up everything. With just the plastic logos. Little heat right there, done. They peeled right off. Uh, kind of a cheap job. Somebody just kind of put a few pieces of tape on there and that was it. The real disturbing part is what's inside those tanks. You see there's a lot of, a lot of crap on, on the screen here itself. And I'll post a picture of what I was able to uh, get a picture of inside the tank. Some kind of a toxic wasteland in there. I'm not quite sure what they did, but hey, we're going to fix it. And then we got the front fender. And that's in pretty deep, normal, expected shape. A little dent right there. Going to try and get that straightened out a little bit for him. Other than that, the fender itself is good. The backrest, that's going uh, gloss black. I'm not going to say what color the fender's going. I'm going to leave that for a surprise. Then we have our fender struts. Still got the other one to take off, but they put duct tape on the back side of this. Cut nice straight lines for the around all the bolt holes. But they put duct tape on it to protect the paint from being damaged. So I don't know what to say about that, but however, we're gonna again fix it, make it right. So I'm gonna finish taking off the other fender strut and uh, get the back fender ready to be sandblasted. And then we're gonna be fixing up some of these holes on the, the rear fender. Get them cleaned up a little bit. Got a little bit of a dent here. I'm going to try and straighten that out some. Make it look decent again. And then we're going to get that powder coated. The fender struts will be coated. And uh, get it ready to hand back to the customer. All nice, clean, ready to go back together. And he can enjoy the bike this year. Hopefully without any issues. So stick around. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, we're still continuing on with the Harley stuff here. We have the rear fender. It's all stripped down of everything that was on it. The license plate, the light, all the, the side pieces. We just finished fixing the dent that was here. We brought that popped out a little bit. There's a quite a scratch here that made a little bit of an indent. So that's been straightened out. So now, it's just a matter of get this stripped down into some bare metal, get some primer put to it, sand it, see what it, see how smooth I can get it, and put a nice layer of uh, powder on it to make it look all nice and clean again. So I'm gonna haul out my sander, start getting some sanding done, and then we're gonna do some sandblasting on it to get the parts where I can't get with the sander and see what we can do for this. So stick around, I'm gonna get stripping some paint. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around on this one. We're continuing on with these Harley Davidson parts. As you saw a few minutes ago, we were working on the rear fender, pulling some of the dents out of that. Now, we have the gas tank, which as we sanded it and cleaned it up, we saw there was a dent. I started filling it in with some JB Weld, just basic uh, two-part epoxy. Put it on there, 
filled in most of the dent for now. Uh, I gotta go back. You can still feel a little bit of it. So I gotta mix up some more, put some more down, and then resand it once it cures. And then we're gonna put some primer on it, get some color to them, and get these done and back to the customer so we can have them back together so we can actually ride it this year. So I'm gonna go mix up some JB Weld, stick around, I'll show you what we do. All right. I'll show you what we got done on these Harley parts. You can laugh if you want. I'm not the world's best body shop guy. But we have a new layer of JB Weld put down. I've got it built up enough that I should be able to sand it back down and completely remove that entire dent that was there. And then once that's done, we'll put it in for the primer, sand it down smoother, and then like I said, we'll throw the color onto it and uh, go from there. In the meantime, I've already got the fender done. I got the other gas tank sandblasted and stripped down and uh, a bunch of the black parts. I've got them done too. Like the license plate. You can see it's nice high gloss black. That mixed in with the green that it's going. It's going to make this bike look real nice. So hopefully I'll have something to show for when the bike itself is done. And uh, hopefully we'll see the customer out riding it this year. Or you might even, depending on where you are. But uh, in the meantime, I don't want to sit here and watch this dry. So I'm going to get going doing something else. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Don't mind me if I sound a little off, a little under the weather, just getting over a bit of a cold. But we're still working on these Harley parts. As you can see, I got the gas tanks, the front fender, and that's where the, the dent was. I got a nice little layer of JB Weld on it. Now I know some of you are going to ask, why didn't I just take you to a body shop, have them pull the dent, or something like that? It wasn't able to be pulled. It was too kinked in there. And I was told by a couple body shops here in town that they wouldn't be able to do anything with it except fill it anyway. So regular body fill doesn't hold up to the heat for powder where JB Weld does. So that's why we've added the JB Weld to this, sanded it smooth. So now we're gonna go put some primer down on it start getting the surface ready for color and uh, see how it looks once it comes out we'll sand it down get it nice and smooth throw some throw some of the color on there and throw a nice high gloss clear and uh, get this stuff back to the customer so stick around show you what it looks like once we get some primer sprayed hey thanks for sticking around we now have these gas tank pieces the Harley Davidson parts in the oven. Uh, you, you saw me put them in there a few minutes ago, putting, uh, getting ready to put the primer to them. Oh, I've already got the first coat down, and as you can see, I did some sanding, and it's ready for a second coat of primer. You, I don't know if you can see it, but that there you don't even feel that dent anymore. It's a few spots that had some high points in them, they were sanded down. Same with this tank here. They're all ready. We got the rear fender in here now. I had to do a little extra straightening out on that on the bottom. And then we got the front fender. That was all sanded down. So now, we're gonna go spray some another coat of primer. That should get everything right to where we want it for some color. And uh, then we can start spraying some of this uh, Nice uh, green we're gonna put on it, and uh, you'll see what it looks like here shortly. So, enough talking, I'm gonna go spray. All right, so here we are. I just finished spraying the last uh, layer of primer. Now we're gonna get ready to spray some of the green. You can see it's all nice and smooth. Remember, there was a dent right there. Not no more. So 
So now, it is time to load up the green, show you what we're gonna do, and make them, make them look nice. And uh, it's gonna be done in Dormant Granny Smith Green. Those of you who know the color, you know what it's gonna look like. Those of you who don't, I guess you'll have to stick around, watch to see what the end result is, and uh, let me know what you think in the end. In the meantime, go click that subscribe button, and uh, I'm going to get spraying some powder. Alright, we just finished up these Harley parts with dormant green. As you can see, they don't look much like the dark green that we're expecting it to look like yet. However, it does need a clear coat. And we're going to be spraying the XL Clear from All Powder Paints. It's supposed to be real nice. We're about to find out. So I'm going to get ready. Go spray this. Put down a coat. And uh, show you what the end results are of this project. So stick around. See what, the, see what it looks like. And uh, we'll go to the next one. Hey everybody. Thanks for sticking around. We have just finished off the Harley parts. I've got them out of the oven, all cooled down, and uh, pretty much cleaned up, ready to go back to the customer. Getting ready to load them in the car and take them up to the shop for them. So, I suppose you want to see what they look like now, don't you? Well, go hit that subscribe button first, drop a like, drop a comment, and let me know what you think. And uh, here's the uh, the final results. As you can see, it was done in a dormant Granny Smith green. Nice high gloss reflection. Nice and smooth. You can just see how the the reflection is just nice and clean there. You got the gas cap that was done. And now the part that everybody was wondering about, I'm sure, because we had that, if you remember back, we had a big old dent on the side of it. So, I'll show you the part that had the dent. Right there. And as you can see, that too is nice and smooth. A nice beautiful re reflection in it. And then we also had the fenders. And they are right here as well. Even did up the inside. And you can see a nice high gloss smooth finish on that as well and there's the, the front fender I do have other little parts that I did like the license plate holder uh, there's that the seat bracket or the, the sissy bar bracket sorry along with a few other little tiny things but uh, once it's done, hopefully I can get a picture of it fully assembled and uh, I can put that up on my Facebook page as well. So the link's in the, the description if you want to jump over to that. Uh, don't, don't be afraid to s click like on that as well. So if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have more coming, more being done, more work going through. Uh, and hopefully some some more uh, and better powder coating as well so till next time hit that subscribe button and remember to stay warm and keep it loud